Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Read I.O. Last time, things seemed to be getting a bit, a bit better for Hinata. His dreams were a little less nightmarish, and his relationship with Sakuya seems to be developing. Uh, also, uh, it looks like uh, he's uh, about to awaken, whatever that means. So, uh, let's get into it. So, uh, after reading his father's letter, he, uh, he thought he heard, uh, Mutsuki's voice, and he came into his sister's room. Uh, this is kind of creepy. Mostly because of that sound. It kind of reminds me of a vacuum cleaner, to be honest. It might actually be this um, heating unit. I think it. I think that's a heater. Uh, anyway, let's go on. My sister's room, which had been deserted for nearly two years. Does Dad clean the dust out of this room on some of his occasional days off? I feel like he does, but I don't really remember. Pajamas lay neatly folded on the bed, as if waiting for their owner's eventual return. And beside them is... Usagi. It's a stuffed rabbit that should be exactly the same kind as the one I gave Sakuya. That's right, my sister loved this stuffed animal, calling it Moon Bunny. The instant I see the rabbit, despair assaults me. My memories are disordered, something I've tried not to understand and have purposely concealed within my consciousness suddenly rips through me. Tears burst out of me like water from a broken dam. Just like I don't understand my own words, I don't understand the meaning of this outburst of tears. What's happening to me? Mutsuki. Huh? What's that mean? Mutsuki abandoned me? <laughs> While trying to fight off a headache so strong it feels like it could make me faint, a memory floats to the surface of my mind. A memory of when we were still young. <coughs> a girl rushed into my room while crying. Only an orange nightlight illuminated the room. That's right. This boy and girl is me and my sister. お兄ちゃんは、お兄ちゃんは、むつきを捨てて、どこか行っちゃったりしないよね。しないよ。もう、うるさくって寝られやしないじゃないか。本当本当本当だってば、もうこれで何回目だよ。だって、本当に怖か
。そうしたら、そんな嫌な思いはどっかにすっ飛んでっちゃうからな。そうなんだ。じゃあ、やってみるね。い、今、ここでやらなくても。うにゃ、うにゃーん。ほんとだ。すごく気持ちいいね。この月うさ。月うさっていうか、なんか使い方間違ってない No, it's appropriate in Japanese culture. いいのこれは、ムツキの月うささんなんだから。The meaning behind that rabbit was stop waking me up in the middle of the night. It did the trick, as after that I ended up regularly sleeping like a log until morning. But thanks to that, the money I'd worked so hard to save up went completely down the drain. <laughs> I remember the conversation I had with Sakuya during the day, so I gave both Mutsuki and Sakuya rabbits as presents. That seems to be the case, as the conclusion I've derived from sifting through my disordered memories. So, so that time. Is it? Hmm. When I think back on it, I really was a kid back then. My sister stopped crying when I gave her that rabbit. Because Sakuya was a girl, I thought the same trick would work on her. That's why I did that. <laughs> the rabbit is sitting all alone in this dark room. It's definitely the embodiment of me. Mutsuki would always take this rabbit with her even when she went outside, no matter where she went. But two years ago, you didn't take this rabbit with you. That's why I. だったら、怖い時や寂しい時や辛い時は、これをお兄ちゃんだと思って、ギュッて抱きしめるんだ。Just like this rabbit, I sit all alone in empty rooms. Because like this, because just like this rabbit, I was also abandoned by Mutsuki. The instant I realized she hadn't been kidnapped, and had instead run away from home on her own free will, something within me broke. And ever since then, my sister had been dead to me. おはようございます。六時のニュースです。My introspection has led me back to the living room. The passage of time had escaped me, even though I hadn't really been thinking about anything in particular. A multitude of thoughts and feelings continue to course through me, back and forth, back and forth. 次は痛ましい事件です。昨夜午後十一時頃、都内デパートの屋上から飛び降り自殺がありました。I instantly feel the flow of time accelerating around me. It seems I'd unconsciously turned on the TV. The current me just couldn't stand being in a house devoid of human voices. The broadcast intrudes into my half asleep mind. The uproar about the lunar eclipse several days ago had been just someone else's problem, but the news makes me feel like cold water has been thrown in, my thrown in my face. I sit down in front of the TV, and while I rub the sleep out of my eyes, I bring the auditory nerves in my ears to attention. Fortunately, I don't know the names of the people they announce, but. It's true that almost 20 days ago there was a suicide at school. My mind flashes back to the image of Yayoi Sensei's normally complacent face full of sorrow. Is this also some sort of omen? Has the strange phenomena that's been occurring around me begun to manifest in this form? If that's the case, then what a depressing, tragic form for it to take. In the morning, there is an assembly that the, whole, that the whole school attends. With a face full of bitterness, the school principal gives a cliched speech on the usual illicit sexual relationships are forbidden. If you're troubled, then consult someone, whether it's a teacher or a friend. Don't turn to drugs, and so on. Since the cause of the deaths is unknown, the speech was doomed to lack any sort of persuasion from the start. How could it, with the true motives of the ones who committed suicide still being unknown? Even I don't know the reason why my sister left. No, it's more that I haven't tried to learn it, but it's different now. The desire to search it out, no matter what, is whirling up within me. 
When I look to the side, I see a girl with yellow ribbons on both sides of her hair, her head hanging with gloom. It's Yumi, I think. Where's Sami? At the very least, she's not next to her sister. But isn't that the junior's row? Wait, Yuni Yumi is my upperclassman? While ignoring the principal's speech, I nonchalantly survey my surroundings. Just then... Oi! Are... When I look, I see an outdoor broadcasting van with a parabolic antenna parking outside the school's gates. A cameraman and an announcer holding a microphone exit the van in succession. The principal's speech ends anticlimactically. A serious expression crosses the face of Yayoi Sensei, who is sitting next to the principal. We were immediately ordered to break up and are led back to our classrooms. As the principal mops the sweat off his forehead with his handkerchief, he quickly returns to the school building, accompanied by the vice principal and other staff. Moments later, the newscaster chases after them. What is this, a manga? My sense of reality is fading away again. In the end, our morning classes all become self-study periods due to an urgent staff meeting. The classroom is almost completely deserted. Most of my classmates decided to go home early, grumbling, there was no point in coming here. If that's the case, then are the smartest students the ones who systematically skip classes by themselves? As I take on yet another crossword puzzle, I unconsciously listen to my classmates talking, as always. Nana, なんでよ。偉大なる勇者チキチータ様が直々にバビロンを案内してやろうって言うてんやで。ここはありがたくうんと言うとこやろ。なんだよ、そのハンドル。それにどうせ目当てはドロー経由のレムちゃんだろ。
。毎日ミドリンから聞かされる話で、十分大スペクタクルなアドベンチャーだな。それでそれで、今回の最終シナリオでは、ローマンスがテーマになってるらしくって、最終的に男女一人ずつじゃないとクリアできないんだって。はい、新手の出会い系それで、それで、今晩は待ち合わせなんだよ。どこでだから、背徳都市バビロン。はあ、こら、重症だわ。いいじゃない、玉の連休なんだから。えまさか連休中、どこへも行かずネットゲームやってるつもりちゃんと旅行に行くわよ。へえ、そうなんだ。健全、健全。ね、どこに行くのバビロン、of course。だから、絶望と歓喜の街。バビロン。って、やらせないでよ。<笑>だから、サクちゃんって好き。ところで、あんた、黄昏の貴公子の本はどうなっちゃったの。ん、あ、ほら、あれはあれ、これはこれってことで。リアルのものはリアルにバーチャルのものはバーチャルに返しなさいだそれを言うならカエサルのものはカエサルに神のものは神にでしょしかし現金ね長生きするわありがとうサクちゃん褒めたつもりはないんだけどな<笑> Everyone's gotten obsessed with Babylon The network Babylon's in Mutsuki vanished to the other side of that network Did she find her reality there? で、君はなんでこんなとこにいるのかな弥生先生に会いたかったんです。I decide to say that in order to stir her up a little. 先生 scratches her head as she stares off into space. こりゃまた。私の教師人生でもめったにないほどの極めてストレートな告白だこと。今日はふざけないんですね。毎日だと飽きるだろそれでもご希望とあらば誰も望んでませんもう弥生困っちゃう教師と生徒でそんな仲なのは許されないわわざとやってるんですね当然だろ恋愛ごっこはあっちに置いといてですねつまらないなおととい僕のことシスコンだって言いましたよね私じゃない。君が自分で言ったんだ。ひなた、君は自分の問題に正面から立ち向かえる強い人間だと先生は思ってた。そんな葉っぱかけたってダメです。自分が弱い人間なのはよく知ってますから。ソクラテスは何と言ったかな私は何も知らない。だが、世の知識人に比べれば何も知らないということを知っている。もし私が彼らに勝っているとするなら、それを自覚していることだ。ほう、ご名答。じゃあ、私が何を言いたいかは、わかるだろう僕は少なくとも、自分が弱いということを知っている、と。そこまでわかってるなら、次の一歩を踏み出せるんじゃないかな多分僕は、真実を知るのが怖いんです。私だってそうさ。でもね、ひなた。知っていても知らなくても、現実というのは襲いかかってくる。その、なすすべもなく、やられてしまうでしょうね。その現実とやらに。君はそうなりたいのか君が望むのは、看板の自殺なのかえ日々を積極的に生きないのは、毎日を殺しているのと同じだ。それは、極論じゃないですか。Although I say that, my voice is unconvincing. It feels as if there is something blocking my throat. Unfazed by this, Sensei continues talking. 君が60歳まで生きるとして、その人生の3分の1を無駄に過ごすと、君は20歳の誰かを殺したのと同じことになる。違うかまさか、そんな。死んだような人生を送るな。君はまだ若い。これからいくらでもやり直しが効く。目覚めるんだ。いつまでも悪夢に浸ってるな。悪夢に立ち向かうんだ。Her voice is full of worry. 
Three people have lost their lives in two separate suicide incidents in the course of a month. Yayoi Sensei has had to experience both of them, and they they've burdened her with such a great weight. Sensei stands up and places her hands on my shoulders. Is that shine in her eyes hope? Or are they tears? Sensei's face is close to mine. I reach my hand out. <coughs> I reach my hand out for Yayoi Sensei's arms, her hands still on my shoulders. Sensei sighs, tilts her head slightly, and takes her hands off my shoulders. The world is spinning. Just as I think this, my back slams into the ground. I can't speak or breathe. Pain spreads throughout my entire body. Sakio doesn't understand either. My mouth sporadically flaps like a goldfish's. Since I still can't move, Sensei walks behind me, wraps her arms around the area below my armpits, and pulls me up. But what is she? Cuts! I feel an intense impact around my waist. At the same time, fireworks explode in front of me. Is this Yayoi Sensei's knee? Is this how you treat your patients? I think about saying this, but I managed to swallow my words. She looks a little lonely, but all I can do is run away from there as if I'm being dragged away. The timing of it couldn't have been worse, but the conversation is over. Sensei said the issue was with my courage and resolution, so I'll... I ask her something that's been bugging me this whole time. え?ああ。なんでって偶然って言ったでしょ本当の偶然なんてない。プログラムだって乱数の定義が決まってないし、サクヤと僕があそこで出会ったのは何か意味があるはずだ。またまたそんな柄にもなくロマンティックなことを言
なるのかな Perhaps Sakuya and I are more similar than I thought. We played together in that park. Since it's part of our primal scenery, it might continue to remain in our minds for the rest of our lives. Sakuya は、おじさんとの関係はそれなりにうまくいってるのえもう、さっきから何変なことばっかり聞いてるのよ。僕はうまくいってないからさ。そっちはどうなのかと思って。おじさん、すごく怒りっぽかったじゃないいつでも厳しいよ。すぐ私のやることなすこと全部ダメダメダメって言うし I can easily imagine him saying something like that へえ僕にだけ辛く当たってたわけじゃないのか昨夜も大変だなほんとそうなんだからね自分の都合で家のことは全部決めちゃうし私が抗議したって取り合ってくれないしへえあの分からずやんいつか家出してやるんだから。Yep, haven't heard that one before. But she's never done anything like that in the past, and I could never see her doing so in the future. Is it simply the result of her being at that rebellious age? それでも昨夜は家事全般やってるんだよね。うん。うち小さい頃からお母さんいないから。それでお父さんは仕事以外は何もできない。ネクタイ一つ結べないんだからね。じゃあ、まさか、咲夜がうん。他に誰がいるっていうのあ、いや、そういう意味じゃなくて。So when all said and done, she really does take care of her father. Her saying, I'll run away from home is probably her way of letting off steam. That's why I think she easily tolerates what he does. 勉強はお父さんじゃなくて、ひなたの面倒を見てあげようかな。えなんで何嫌なのそんなことないけど、おじさんはどうするの聞いてなかったの出張よ出張。もう最悪。どこにも連れてってなんかもらえないし。Mr. Kawahara going with Sakuya to an amusement park, being as obstinate as he is, I can't even imagine that. Or rather, it's more like I don't want to imagine that. そっか。Sakuya のうちもそうだったっけそうだよ。しっかりしてよね、少年。誰の真似だよ、それ。え誰って、弥生先生に決まってるじゃない。えあ、ちょ、ちょっと、待ちなさいよ、ひなた。一本背負いなんて、もうごめんだね。<笑>もう、そんなとこまで真似しないわよ。どうだか、女は信用できない。なんでそうなるのそれじゃお父さんと一緒じゃの。川原のおじさんがもっとも、お父さんが信用できないのは、周り中の人間みたいだけど。はあ、そうなんだ。え、私私は、お父さんはいつも、信じられるのは科学とお前だけだって言ってる。Oh, great. So we've got a man who's both a stereotypical overprotective father and a stereotypical mad scientist. Maybe dad is still part of that. is still a part of that group. So, じゃなくて、昨夜は誰かのこと信用してるのえそ、それは。Wait, why are you blushing now? Well, gee, I wonder about that. <laughs> is it really that kind of a question? This is why I don't get girls. Ah, Anna san, Hana s h i a a w a r a n d a k e t o Oh, not t e r n e d e n w a Oh, um, Ose Mail or Sasesmas. Eh? Ma, Oni, Jan, Naniko, Natokoro, the Rabbit, or Rabra, b u s h a t e r n o Yo. Demma, much c a b i n e t e r n d a k a r a n e Nanikora, Oni, Jan, Rabbit? Chotto Casta. I checked the sender's address. Mutsuki at anu something key.com.、Uh, I'd like to point out that this is not a valid email address.、Um, uh, in the fields between the separated by dots,、uh, it only allows 
letters and numbers. I guess this is their way of uh, making something that's guaranteed to be invalid. Anyway. Because I've been averting my eyes from the truth up until now. So Sakuya noticed it too. なんか混乱しちゃってるのよね。混乱。うん。単にダイレクトメールみたいな時もあれば、今みたいに話しかけてくることもあるし。これは本当に無付きなんだろうか。気になるよね。日向のとこには似たようなの来てないの？僕のと
The sun peeps through a rift in the clouds, shining brightly on Sakuya's face, revealing her girlish features that match her age so well. Her expression is far too radiant for me. I take the bus to school in the morning, attend classes, or not, depending on my mood, go to the infirmary, and then go home to pass the remaining time. Today has marked the end of those days. How will I spend the five days of my long break? I'm sure I'll be fine. Up until now, I've been able to get through long vacations, even through summer and winter breaks. And besides... I've never seen her look so serious or say something so important. Yayoi-sensei may indeed fool around with me, but she's always been truly concerned about me. Why did she get so serious? Do I really have as much passion as she, as she suggested? There's something I want to do as well. I need to do that. If I don't... Mutsuki will scold me like that again. I lose all right to call myself her older brother. That's why I need to do something so that it actually feels like I'm living. But what? And how do I do it? By whatever means necessary, now that I think about it, I might not have had that assertiveness. Rather, I was looking for a reason not to go seeking Mutsuki. I'm sure that's why I ended up like this. I need to face reality. And at the very least, I must make it clear whether Mutsuki is alive or dead. For this purpose, I must act. This was my sister's personal space. She reached the point where she started secluding herself in this room four years ago, and then two years ago she suddenly vanished into thin air. Unable to bear my feelings of guilt, I forcibly falsified my memories, making myself firmly believe that my sister is dead. I realized that over the last several days. But Moon Bunny has been waiting in this room the whole time. However, what if this is a sign from her that means I left something important behind, so look for me? This rabbit has suddenly overlapped with Mutsuki. Is it a white rabbit guiding me to Wonderland? If that's true, then what would make me late? Wouldn't uh, that that would make me late, wouldn't it? Huh? I haven't done anything. Even so, Mutsuki's computer is suddenly starting up. It's like it had just been sleeping up until now, and awoke at this very instant. I instinctively turn around, the desire to run away building up in me. But at the same time, the scene before me is bewitching. Is the world where my where my sister is sleeping on the other side of these of those monitors? Welcome to Babylon, presented by Edoc. And just then, something that appears to be a fairy with fluttering wings appears in the center monitor. Hello, hello! Yokoso! Babylon! Is this a hologram projector? To think that Mutsuki had installed something that expensive. Come to think of it, my parents would buy anything to soothe Mutsuki, since she was quite the shut in. <coughs> quite the shut in. I hated that. Whenever I said, you always favor Mutsuki over me, my parents' standard response was, you're the older brother, so put up with it. That caused me to develop a bit of a complex, and it may have contributed to my decision to subconsciously deny my memories of my sister. But when Mutsuki left, my parents started avoiding me as much as they could. The fairy, which looks like something straight out of a fairy tale, scatters particles of light while fro frolicking around in the confined space of the monitor's light. Uh, I better listen to this again. Just. Okay. 
Gotta be more careful about that. Onichan, chan to kiteru no? Onichan, don't try to be over familiar with me by using that term. Although I think that, I ask her something else instead. Kimi wa. Dare? Huh? Lemu wa yosei no lemu da yo? Lemu. Lem, Rem, Remu. The fairy that inhabits Babylon is named Lem. In Japanese, this is written this way. De, de. This name has four separate readings in Nomaji. Uh, Lem, Lemu, Rem, Remu. Without seeing how the original is written, it's common to misinterpret one name for the other. It's heard as them by everyone, but in this game, the name is written out as how the individual speaking interprets the name. Babylon veterans would know that the name is, is written L-E-M. However, Hinata thinks it is pronounced Rem. Others may hear it as Remu, which ironically can be written with the kanji for beautiful and dream. It's not Mutsuki? So da yo! Oni chan wasre chatta no? Wasre ta mo nani mo? No, I think I've heard her name before. Come to think of it. Ma! Oni chan nani ko na tokoro de rabi to rab rab shi chatte no yo! Demo a machi kutabire te rin da kara ne? It was from that voicemail Sakuya received. And also. Uwa! お前バビロン入ったの昨日やろ何そんなディープな話題してるんいやうろうろしてたら路地裏に迷い込んでさ。PKに狙われるかってビビったんだけど。なんていうのあれ。妖精フェアリー。あれむちゃん来たー。そう
Rem hides herself. Isn't she just like Mutsuki? But she appeared before Yoshida and I. I wouldn't like it if I became like Inaga uh, Inagaki, but the next time I see Yoshida at school, I need to ask him for details. The reason why is because I swore to find Mutsuki. <sighs> for some reason, I sit on Mutsuki's bed. The impact causes Moon Bunny to launch up and fall onto my knees. Are those rotund eyes looking at me? Rabbits on the moon. Rem. Mutsuki. I will properly face the truth I've been averting my eyes from up until now. If I do that, I might be able to even see rabbits on the moon. I decide to look for Mutsuki's viewpoint. そうだね。何ひなとは楽しくないのいや、そういうわけじゃなくて。これって何か違うかなって。いいじゃん、いいじゃん。たまのことなんだし。確かにそれはそうなんだけど。昔はよく一緒に遊んだじゃない。遊ん
昨夜が決まってるじゃない連休の初日の昼くらい外で遊び倒すんだからそういえば昨夜一昨日も似たようなこと言って僕をファミレスとかに連れ出さなかったき気のせいでしょ As soon as she says that, I suddenly feel shivers run down my spine. I instinctively stop in place, turn around, and glance at my surroundings. どうしたの There's someone that's been stalking me. Don't tell me that they have decided to make an appearance today as well. For now, I don't see a single sign of them anywhere. なんでもない。気のせいだった。ああ、そうよね。気のせい、気のせい。Huh? I have a feeling that we're talking about two totally different things right now. My dream last night. I really am having dreams about Mutsuki every night. But there was something different about it this time. What happened, Mutsuki? Can't hear it. ムツキ、もっと大きな声で言って。た、す、け、て。あまい。なんだって夢か。That might have been another kind of nightmare, but I had no headache. Up until a little while ago, it felt like ムツキ was just a short distance away. Of course, that was a baseless assumption. じゃあじゃあお昼はどこで食べようかな夢中でずいぶん遅くなっちゃったしね That voice abruptly brings me back to reality 合間にお茶とかはしたじゃないなんか昨夜外でご飯を食べるのが趣味いけないだっていっつも自分の作ったものばっかり食べるのは飽き飽きだしねそういう意味では僕はファミレスとかの味には飽き飽きかもしれないうんなかなか意見の一致を見ないわねいや僕は昨夜の選んだ場所でいいもうもっと主体性を持ちなさいよ男の子なんでしょ What are you saying that girls shouldn't have to be independent? That's a very bizarre opinion to have in these times But the place we、uh, the place we go to in the end is おいしかったよねもう最高昼でもやってるんだね夜になると年齢制限で入れないのにうんうん大人しか知らない居酒屋料理の味を満喫<笑>いい時間だったランチの時間が夕方まででよかった Even I have to admit I like that food. さてとそれじゃあ帰りますかねそうだねもうこんな時間だし。Just as I expected, I've gotten exhausted simply from being around so many people all day. じゃあ、こちらダンチに向かって出発進行何よ、昭和はどうしたのよ、昭和は。いや、さくやって、ほんと元気だなーって思って。それだけが取り柄だからね。そうだね。She's got practically unlimited stamina. It's like she's a cyborg or something. Hmm. I wonder. Well, the truth is, it's just that I have such low stamina from barely exercising. Yeah, that's probably it. Hmm. What's that? Saki is looking at me with a strange expression again. And one second later. So <laughs> cool. そんなことないよ。で否定するとかでしょ。ついでに少しは可愛いねとか料理が上手だねとか、うん、言葉を上乗せしなさい
言ってってって、わかったから、話せ、話せ、話してくれ。ちゃんとやってくんないと、私バカみたいじゃない。ほんとデリカシーのかけらもないんだから。痛いから、ちぎれるから、もう耳引っ張るのやめろって言ってるだろう。なんか言えばわかるんだよ。だから誰もいないってばでもほらなんとなくね<笑> What does she mean, right? A greeting is something you say to another party to start a conversation If there is no other party then it's nothing more than talking to yourself <笑>この部屋に来るのもずいぶん久しぶりな気がするな She stretches out her arms as she says this. So, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. Thank you. In our, hands, in our hands are cold carbonated drinks with drops of water condensing on the glass. I hear the pleasant sound of ice shifting. I feel that this moment is very precious in a way. So, the person who is in the house is in the house. The person who is in the house is in the house. The person who is in the house is in the house. I was spacing out a bit just now, so I didn't realize that by computer she meant the computer. If we were speaking English and not Japanese, she could have used the definite article and I would have understood immediately. Now I'm going to go. I'm going to go. But... Is there something else? Something else? I don't know what to do. That's right. I'm going to be afraid. I'm going to be afraid. I'm going to be afraid. That's right. There's a CD that's interesting. これが傑作でさひなたなあそれとも最近仕入れた新しいネタがいいかなペンローズとクラーク・ケントどっちが強い答えはペンはケンよりも強しでペンローズの勝ちああのねなあそうだ駅前の商店街で面白い店を見つけたんだよ入り口はおもちゃ雑貨屋みたいなんだけど中に入ると見たことがない本がいっぱいひなた you're um Talking a little bit too much. When I come to my senses, Sakuya's face is right in front of me. She presses her forehead against mine. I don't know how to respond, so we remain standing next to each other. Sakuya moves her forehead away and begins to compare the temperature of my forehead to hers with her palm. What do you think? Well, you certainly are now. I cut myself off halfway through. Damn, this isn't working at all. But if I wasn't jittery, then why was I shut? Why was I stuttering so much? It seems like I'm hesitating, but what else can I do? In the end, it turns out that this is just the kind of person I really am. <laughs> Sakuya takes my hand and starts advancing as if she's guiding me. Men are violent, simple, vain, and weak. 
Women are elegant, mysterious, very jealous, and strong. I walk alongside Sakya as if she's leading the way with a lantern in a deep darkness. Even if what lies ahead is a road that leads to hell. ちゃんと片付いてるのね。そうだね。父さんはまるでここにまだ無月がいるように思ってたみたいで。2年前と同じようにしておくことにすごく神経を使ってた。そうなんだ。僕もなんだかその方が落ち着くし。でもそれってな
It feels like a miracle that I got acquainted with Sakuya and had her accompany me all this time as my childhood friend. <laughs> Dad and I have left this room exactly as it was. That's why we've never opened the curtains once. Despite that, Sakuya yanked them open just like, uh, like it was nothing. I wonder if I should try to stop her. But my voice doesn't come out. I want to open the way the future uh, I want to open the way to the futures of both myself and this room. <laughs> I instinctively look back at the login screen. Enter password. What do you see? What do I see? That would be Moon. Welcome to Babylon, presented by Edoc. <laughs> Sakio was completely right. I wasn't seeing anything at all. <laughs> because Sakio was here with me. That's the only reason I was able to solve everything. And the thing that awaits us up ahead in our future is... When I come to my senses, I'm encircled by holograms. This was a city I visited with Sakuya just a little while ago. It looks a lot like uh, Shinjuku. It seems she's thinking what I'm thinking. I like how they changed the font here. Um, that's a nice touch. This place has slightly different tastes from the rumored fantasy-esque network RPGs that I've heard about. All the colors are subdued, and the atmosphere is dark. Log in or make a new account. Those words, written in English, flicker before my eyes. I'm not half bad at English, so I'm okay. But what about players who only know Japanese? Case in point. Sakuya,バビロン初めてなんでしょ? And so I... Oh, uh, yeah, I think I should save. Hmm. Well, for now, let's just, uh, make a new account. Because we don't, we don't know any, uh, actual any pre-existing credentials, so... So what happens if I do this? Enter your account name. Shamash. Enter password. Moon Bunny. Access denied. Nanda. Your account must be unique. Select a new account name. It's all written in English that's above my level, so I use an electronic dictionary to figure out what it says. So in other words, it means someone else is apparently already using the name Shamash. Come to think of it, didn't Rem say something about this? I see. I'm where Rem said I needed to be, so I decide to try logging in. Enter your account name. Shamash. Enter password. Huh? Come to think of it, didn't I just find a new password? When I think about it carefully, it's not strange at all. There's nothing else I can do, so I'll give it a shot. Moon. 
Invalid password. Ah, <sighs> I gave I give her the facts straight and simple. Um, so yeah. swiftly reaches her hand out. Thanks to Sakia, we were able to break through the first protection, but it doesn't look like another miracle's coming our way this time. きっと何かヒントがあるはずだ。うん、そうだね。きっとあるよ。ムツキは僕がこのアカウントでバビロンに入ることを望んでいた。ログインで記載すればきっと何か手がかりがわかる。だから、うんうん。ただ無理はよそ
Because of the school break, there's almost no other people here aside from librarians. It's more or less deserted. So, so, it seems Sakuya already has a starting point. Considering the situation yesterday, what would be a good keyword to look up? Uh, Babylon? I try thinking about it, but my brain won't work as if it's off key. I just can't keep up with Sakuya's insight. I really am pathetic. I sit down in a nearby chair. Sakuya looks at me with concern. I feel really bad about making her worry, but I'm just so very tired right now that there's nothing I can do about it. She looks at me like she wants to ask something, but she says nothing and disappears off in the direction of the bookshelves. I rest my chin in my hands, and as I remember Mutsuki... お兄ちゃん。お兄ちゃん。お兄ちゃん。お兄ちゃん。お兄ちゃん。お兄ちゃん。お兄ちゃん。お兄ちゃん。お兄ちゃん。お兄ちゃん。お兄ちゃん。お
うんさよなら Yumi heads over to the library counter as if nothing happened. She returns her book and. Ah, it seems that she's borrowing a new one, a new book as well. Yumi, ne. Huh? So, it's a little bit of a little bit of a l i t t 私がこんなに一生懸命やってるっていうのに。That's right. I don't have time to think about Yumi right now. ところで、すごい量の本だね。For now, I'll change the subject. あ,あ、うん。結構うちの図書館充実してるよね。Well, it's called a library, not a library room. It's a spacious three-story hall filled to the brim with books and documents. Kyoka Academy's institutions are famous even in the rest of Tokyo. Orient の神話関係だけでもこんなにあったんだから。Orient? うん。シュメールとかバビロニアとかメソポタミアとか、今のイラクあたりの中東の神話だけど。Wait, just how is this related to our search for the password? とりあえず、ムツキちゃんの失踪がバビロンに関係してるんだとしたら、このバビロニアの神話伝説からチェックしてみるといいんじゃないかな。いやあ<笑>ま、だからオリエントの神話なのか。うん、そうだけど。サクヤ、貸して。あ、あ。At that instant, I begin flipping pages as if someone flipped a switch in my head.The answer lies in this book, or at the very least, there should be a hint or two in it. Babylonia, the term developed from merely an adjective used to describe the city of Babylon to the name of the country and territory that had Babylon as its core. And Babylon originated from Babel. Babel, or Bab il, means gate of God. Since that gate couldn't be entered, does that mean you needed to pass through the gate to become a god? I suddenly look up from the documents and see Yumi's back as she leaves the library. She looks a bit lonely, and then just when it feels like she's going to turn around and look towards me. ねえねえ、ひなた、これこれ。That voice brings me back once more. 何 Sakio points to a page. On it is. シャマシュ。バビロニアの太陽神。英雄ギルガメシの守護神で、聖樹を守る石火獣フンババと戦うとき、シャマシュは神の風を送って英雄を助けた。ねえねえ、見直したなんでこんなことに気づかなかったんだろう。シャマシュはバビロニアの神。そうだ。それはあり得ることじゃないか。僕は盲目だった。ひなたってば。ありがとう、サクヤ。あ、うん。<笑>とりあえず、この資料に当たりをつけて、必要そうな部分は全部コピー取っちゃおう。わかった。よし、やるぞ。I begin to pour through the materials Sakio got for me one after another. All worldly thoughts disappear from my brain as I start to move towards one goal and one goal alone. So, ka. Huh? Sakio is looking at me with strangely warm eyes. Yapari Hinata wa mokteki ga mitskaru to tokoton yaru nda yo ne. Dakara koko ni ne wa mokteki o miusinatte ita dake nanda yo ne. Ma. Does Sakio feel that? That deeply about that? I feel myself get a bit embarrassed from guilt. So, in order to hide that. Sakuya mo ishoni, tegakari o sagashte kure. Tanomu yo. I say this. So da ne, watashi mo ganbari yo. My beloved sister, my beloved playmate, right now the three of us are starting to move together in order to recover our lost pasts and to live for the future. Suddenly I remember something and look towards the exit. Obviously, Yumi isn't there anymore. I need to focus on the documents. I look at the entry next to Shamash and begin to read it. Shin. Babylonia no Tsuki no Megami. Kaidan Jo Pyramid de Aru Jigratoa. Online was Shin ni Sasagirare da Shin den de Aru. Shin. The god of time, fate, and the moon in Babylonian mythology. His Sumerian counterpart is Nana. Well, now that's interesting. Uh. <laughs> Uh, considering the name that Sakuya gave her stuffed rabbit. 
Could that be related? The ziggurat of Ur was the temple dedicated to honor Sin and Nana. Uh, ziggurat 1. A staircase-esque pyramid in Babylonia, also called the Tower of Babel. According to the Old Testament, God was displeased that humans tried to make a tower that reached heaven. God made languages so everyone couldn't communicate with each other. As a result, the tower was never completed. Later, Babel would also come to be known as Babel, or to say words that make no sense. 2. The headquarters of the MMORPG Babylon. Mutski's name has the kanji for moon, ski, in it. And my name is Hinata, which literally means sunny place. Although I read that it actually means... Hmm. No. No, never mind. If Mutsuki gave me the name of the sun god, then... Mutsuki is probably called the Babylon or the sun god of the sun god of the sun god of the sun god. It's not a direct hint for Shamash's password, but even so, I think this is information worth remembering. My field of vision suddenly seems to clear at, the, at those words. I feel like I saw something. Is this like what you meant by seeing something invisible? I want you to tell me, Mutsuki. It's only been a few days since I was last here, but the scenery still carries an air of nostalgia. The wind blows across the roof. Sakuya and I came up here to buy some soft drinks from the vending machine. From what I can see, no one else is here. Is it the same for me? It's true that because I always come up here during lunch break, this should be the first time I've ever seen it during the sunset. But, I feel that I've seen this scenery somewhere before. Is it deja vu? The refreshing wind itself may not be changing, but the more it blows on us, the colder it feels. We can't stay here forever. Back to the library. But the moment I try to say that, I eat my words. Someone's on the roof, approaching us from the back. I drag Sakuya along and hide ourselves in the shade of a tree. Anu, the Babylonian god of the heavens. In Sumeria, Anu was called An. Your students? It can't be that the woman named Anu who's talking to that unknown person is... I instinctively gasp. Sakuya tries to say something, but I desperately press my hand over her mouth. I realize that my hand is trembling. Sakuya and I exchange glances and nod at the same time. あなた、何を男まで知っているの？今日はとある目的のために立ち寄った。私の要件は済んだ。警告はしたからな、アヌ。待ちなさい。私はあなたの造反を許したわけではない。
Sensei sits on a bench with a stern expression. She lights a cigarette, and when she's finished it, she goes straight for another one. Talk about chain smoking. I think I hear the loud sound of the engine displacement of a supercar from around the distant school gates, a sound I don't want to get accustomed to. But if I heard that right, then that means that guy has left the school. Unable to leave, Sakuya and I huddle our cold bodies together from behind a clump of bushes. Only the parts of our bodies that are touching warm up, and the difference in temperature between the rest of it is like the threshold between the real and the unreal. Just then, Sensei slowly stands up. With her back turned towards us, she speaks up. And then she turns her head and her head alone towards our direction. Sakuya is tugging on my sleeve desperately. I know she's telling me to stop, but I can't do that. <笑>まあ、その件はいいだろう。良くないです。あれは誰なんですか。妙に突っかかるじゃないか。誰でもない。ひなたが関わるような相手じゃない。忘れるんだ。at that moment, I'm brought back home from the realization that the Yayoi sensei we thought we knew isn't just a public health doctor. She's left me trapped in a cage full of mysteries. とても大人とは言えないだろう。先生は。ずるいです。ああ。みんなそうやって大人になるんだ。僕は。僕は。I don't want to be that kind of adult. I catch those words in my throat before they can come out. If I use inflammatory language to go tit for tat with her, then I'll just be proving that I'm a kid, won't I? ああ、早く下校したまえ。もうすぐ校門も閉まって、ロックがかかる。そうなってからでは、警備上の手続きが面倒だ。先生はどうするんですか言われたことが気になる。少し調べてみるよ。Although Yayoi-sensei still doesn't tell me everything, she finally compromises at the last minute. That's why I should leave right now. わかりました、アヌ。ひなた、お前。先生は一体何者なんですか近寄らないでください。僕は先生の言う通り帰ります。今のところはね。火遊びも大概にしないと、火傷ぐらいじゃ済まなくなるぞ。どうやら僕のお尻にはすでに火がついてるみたいです。だ
校内で不純異性行為は大概にするようにな。せ、先生気にするな、昨夜。弥生先生特有のアメリカンジョークだ。え、そうなの I don't know how much of what she says is serious or a joke. An unfathomable darkness shrouds our surroundings so deep that it envelops Yayoi Sensei、uh, slash Anu as well. Yayoi Sensei, it's not a chicken. I'm not a chicken. But I think that was definitely Sensei's true nature. Ano became a stalker, Sensei no Karishin no Kono. Yeah, Tabun Chiga. そういう雰囲気じゃなかった。むしろ、もっと親しい間から。えどうしたの何がだって、ひなたって、普段雰囲気なんて全然読まないのに。That was blunt, but several girls have told me I have, have no delicacy, so I guess it probably is true that reading the atmosphere is not my strong suit, but now. ただ、そうわかるんだ。じっと観察していたら、そうだって感じたし、理解した。Rather than insight, it was more like a logical consequence. I wouldn't exactly be pressed to call it a deduction, but just by seeing the circumstances and hearing what they said, it was like some sort of causality. Principle of causality. The fixed relationship between cause and effect. Thank you, that was very insightful. そうなんだ。It feels as if some sense that's been sleeping within me up until now has awoken. That's the best way for me to explain it. To put it another way, it's like explaining color to someone who's been blind from birth. Just then, Sakio suddenly tugs my sleeve. As she trembles, Sakuya looks at me with up, upturned, almost inviting eyes. Sakuya ga sono ki nara. Eh? 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 はいはい。うん。せっかく家にお互いの両親がいないって言うのに、どうしてチャンスだとかしめしめとか思わないのかしら。全然目覚めてないじゃない。あっと、まずはこうしてっと。In order to pretend that I'm not listening to her, I first place the documents down on the desk next to the monitor. それでどうするの資料をよく読んで、それからダイブする。えバビロンにでも入れなかったんじゃないのパスワード分かったのちょっとやってみたいことがある。それでダメなら、全く関係のない新しいアカウントで入って流してみよう。そこで情報を探ってみれば。そうか。なるほどね。じゃあ、行くよ。あ、ちょっと待って。もうせっかちなんだから。でどうやってバビロンまで行くの検索にかけてもいいけど、昨夜の携帯に来てたメールにアドレスあったんじゃなかったっけうん、あれね。うん、わかった。これね。うん、よし。Log in or make a new account. Enter your account name. シャマシ。Enter password. Now, this is where the problem begins. Sakuya, Saki copy is the shirio. Miss it, Kurena. Um, Korea, Kedo, do Sirino? Chigat Terka Mosirena Kedo. Gilgamish Jojishi no Nakani. Gilgamish Ga Shamash or Shokan Stir Shingata. Eh? So no? Account of a Shamash and the Gra. Password of a Shamash or Shokan Sir Jumon to Yenai Daroka. ただ、問題がないわけじゃなくて。Oh, glorious shamash. I have 
followed the road you have commanded. Invalid password. Yeah, but it's invalid password. Take a password. Tabu. Is Hanka Shika gets can I know? Um, okay, Kanji. Hmm. Doctor, Ego de Yenaxe, can I take a to? Ego to a Kagiranai. Girgamish Jojishino can boom. Ah, to Konobu, he tied to go da soda. Eh? So no Makasino could about work on my own. Bokumo Akaranai. Mutski wa so na muskashi mono yokyu suru da roka. Eto. Kangai kata wa waru ku nai to mon da kono hoko sete. Tada nani ka miyoto shi ga aru kamo shire nai. I try inputting the password as the equivalent line in English, but it doesn't work. I had a feeling it wouldn't, but I still couldn't help but try it. But as I expected, it still didn't work. <sighs> Unable to just sit by and watch, Sakuya speaks up. What's wrong with me? Why didn't I realize something that obvious? What? As soon as she points it out, I consciously move my fingertips away from my mouth. I don't want to see Mutsuki's data. Sakuya's words make my emotions feel surprisingly trivial. I've been thoroughly trying to close off my heart, but Sakuya just continues to pound on its door. I guess I'd gotten too caught up in the moment. As Sakuya says this, she points at a paragraph from one of the documents we copied from the library. Sexy? What's written there? Anu. Tenku no Kami. シュメールではアン。世界の創造者にして大地である木との間に多くの神々を生んだ。まさか。Ano is a Babylonian god just like Shamash. And the creator god at that? ちゃんと調べてみなきゃわからないけど、弥生先生もバビロンの関係者なのかもしれない。ちょっと待って。Mutsuki made preparations for me to come to Babylon, because if I go there, we can be reunited. And if Yayoi-sensei is connected to the very same Babylon... Why didn't I question Sensei even further? Someone who knows the facts should be able to clear up things much more. If that's true, then what we should be doing in the future is... いきなりどうしたの、ひなた。何か、いろんな筋道が見えてきた。まだまだ先は長いかもしれないけど、その糸口はつかめた気がするんだ。そうなんだ。よかったね。It's as if she's celebrating for me. Will I also be able to smile like Sakuya someday? I can't say that for certain, but if I'm able to find Mutsuki, then at that very moment, I'll... Why do I feel this way? It's strangely nostalgic. Everything here is fitting, as if this were a real place that was built for my sake. Hinata, どうしよう?
Be that as it may, the situation is tense. Men in black suits and shaved heads surround us. There's six of them. Is this what they call being driven into a corner? Although I say that, sweat is beating on my forehead. We're outnumbered. To be blunt, I don't have any confidence in us winning. But I have no other choice but to overcome this dilemma. I take one step forward and bring my hands to a fighting pose. I'd like to say, come at me from wherever you want, but I don't want to provoke my opponents. Just then... My opponents instantly close the distance. In a daze, I swing my fists. I land a splendid consecutive three-hit strike, which I didn't even think I could do with my own body. Okay, I can do this. At that moment... When I turn around, I see that Sakya is being pinned down from the left and right. Sakya! There's no pain, but the impact begins to pierce my body. Shit, if they keep beating us up like a punching bag, my stamina won't hold out. What should I do? <laughs> they desperately cover their ears. I myself am barely able to withstand the impact of that ultrasonic wave that feels like it's squeezing my brain. But the black clothed men, uh, black clothed men collapse in agony one after another, while the others begin to scurry away. <laughs> and before long, our surroundings are as still as death. <laughs> we managed to get through this, that somehow, but unfortunately, that skill she just used can only be used once a day. If we don't find a save point at this rate, we're as, we're as good as dead. If, we've, if we'd fainted here, then we'd have to start over from the beginning. It was a difficult decision, but... That's right, we're playing Babylon right now. In the internet cafe... Um... Missing... Glyph. Uh, the two of us registered using our names in all caps, and we dove in with Brainwave support headsets. Because its world looks so much like reality, there aren't a lot of people who register under their real names. The textures are stable and painstakingly detailed, and the feel of all the objects here is exactly the same as they'd feel in real life. But because everything here conforms to Earth tones, I think that it really is a perfect representation of a city at night. <laughs> As we are now, we're small fry to any enemies who come across us. There's PKs lurking about, so we need to hurry and find shelter with some vigilante corps and a guild, or possibly find a relatively safe neutral shop or something like that. But where would those be? We need to get moving right away. Right now, we're just sitting ducks. Demo. An area dominated by darkness. I have no clue what dangers are waiting for us there. Although we've allocated our battle ar uh, ability parameters, it's better safe than sorry. There's this skyscraper called the Ziggurat to the west. That building is the Tokyo government office in the real world. This world is basically modeled off of Shinjuku, so I'm more or less familiar with the area. Just how big is this world? 
Do the boundaries exceed the city, Japan, and even the Earth? That would be a lot of data. Um, probably not. At any rate, we have to find a safety zone right now. The place where the police station is in real life is something like a sentinel station in this world. That man who looks like a muscular soldier takes a rifle from his shoulder and surveys his surroundings. When I look closely, he has a logo on his chest that says EDOC. If my memory serves me right, EDOC is the name of Babylon's system administrators. EDOC, the creation and management group of the MMORPG Babylon, a group of very enthusiastic VIP users capable of accessing top secret information. The group's name is generally thought to be an abbreviation for either Electronic Doctors or Electronic Documenters. However, those who despise EDOC claim it stands for Eccentric Documenters. I involuntarily bow. Perhaps because I'm feeling kind of irritated, I decide to ask a question as we're being guided. Sakuya gets irritated by my rude question. I shoot her a gaze that says, It's alright, and look back at the giant sentinel esque man. The Great Triad, the three elite members of Anunnaki, the, the developers of the MMORPG Babylon. The Great Triad is composed of Anu, Ea, and Enlil. Ea was the source of civilization and knowledge, as well as the tutelary deity of artists and scientists. Of all the Babylonian gods, he was the only one who tried to save humans from the Great Deluge. In Sumerian mythology, he is called Enki. He is also sometimes depicted as Oannes, a deity that was half man, half fish. Enlil, the Sumerian Babylonian god of the sky, the wind, and the storm. He lived in the clouds between heaven and earth and was once responsible for a flood that devastated many people, the Great Deluge. It is thought he was originally re referred to as Bel in ancient scripture, which means Lord, but his name was changed after that title was assigned to Marduk. Marduk, a powerful Babylonian god and the second supreme god, he is known for de defeating Tiamat, the sea dragon. 2. The name of the central server hosting the MMORPG Babylon. さん、しかし、by the way this guy talks, it's as if he actually thinks that the Great Triad are really living gods. Is he really into role-playing, or is he seriously... Ningirsu. The Sumerian god of war worshipped most in the city-state of Lagash. He taught farmers irrigation techniques so they could extend beyond the Tigris River. 
In mytholo uh, Babylonian mythology, he was regarded in the same light as Ninurta. He would frequently appear as a human with wings, as he appeared to uh, Mushus, Mushusu, the sacred poisonous snake. What's his game? If he's an admin, shouldn't he be able to simply look look up my own name? The man known as Ningirsu gives a strange broad smile. Damn it, if it's come to this. At that moment, we exit the long underground tunnel and arrive on the surface. Because our eyes got adjusted to the darkness, the unnecessarily bright neon lights overpower them. I can see the bar that Ningirsu was talking about in front of us. There's men and women in various kinds of outfits having pleasant conversations with each other. We part from there as he steps back and gives us a reverent salute. It's all rather overdramatic, but at the very least, he has my goodwill. That's why I followed, follow up with a proper return salute. A satisfied grin appears on his face. Really? That little bit means, may the fortunes of war be with you? Okay. He says that, and we both part ways from him. The giant hall is crowded with people, people, and more people. Everyone is dressed up however they please. Well, this is a virtual world, so you could theoretically have any kind of clothing you wanted as long as the graphics allowed for it, but... She's holding two cocktail glasses filled to the brim. Despite the appearance and the setting, there's no way there's alcohol in these, given that they're banned by the law. In this modern era where virtual technology has developed, you can't just do whatever you want in a virtual world. I guess you could say that we're just enjoying the atmosphere flowing around. I don't know what it tastes like. It has the faint flavor of some kind of citrus fruit, but that may just be the way my brain waves interpret it. But right now, my brain is already indulged in something else. This is all nothing but a hypothesis, but it all seems to fit. Anu is Yayoi Sensei, and if what Ningirsu told me is true, then the person he, she was quarreling with on the roof was. Judging from that sense of distance, it would make sense that that guy was another member of the Great Triad, just like her. And who would that person, uh, who would be the person most likely to blame her for her de desertion of Babylon? Ea returned after she left, but Ea left at the same time as Anu, so I don't think she's, she denounced her as much as that man on the roof did, meaning that the only remaining possibility is Enlil. どうしたの?そんなに怖い顔しちゃって。いや、どうやらイケメンストーカーの名前が分かったみたいだからさ。え?いつ分かったのどうやってもしかしてどっかですれ違ったりした? Sakya, didn't you say you were scared of Enlil? 
That's why the two of us are together right now, isn't it? Anyway, I explained the logical consequence of my reasoning to Sakuya in as simple terms as possible. As I'm doing so, Sakuya's eyes grow wider and wider. There are still questions to be <laughs> to be answered. Like what did Musuki want to do with me by guiding me to the realm filled with a maelstrom of mysteries about Anu, Enlil, and so on? And what is the effect of the name Shamash? This is all very complicated, isn't it? It seems you are finally self-aware, but as you are now, you won't become the opportunistic Mr. Holmes who knows everything, will you, Mr. Watson? Well, there's still a long way to go, but because the sequence of mysteries has probably begun, you'll definitely arrive at the truth unless you get on the wrong track. Looking forward to it. If we continue to stay in this game world like this, will we be making any progress? Even if we continue, is this really the best way to find Shamash's password? Or... <laughs> when she says that, I check the time in the real world. 1.12 AM. Huh? It's already been over four hours? That aside, would you really define going out together as a, on a holiday and spending this much time together as playing together? It's true that we might not have done anything like this together for a very long time. At the very least, probably not since early elementary school. <laughs> Sakya, who is occasionally illuminated by the rays of light piercing through her glass in the darkness, looks so pretty that it almost makes me tremble. The pink tinge of her flushed cheeks is a shade I've never seen before. Was Mutsuki also taken in by this world in the exact same way? But if she was just a net addict, then she could have gone here even at home. So where did Mutsuki go? Just as Sakuya is star starting to talk, a man with noble features and a very composed bearing stands up on a stage. Although he's not tall, he still gives off the powerful atmosphere of a leader for some reason.最後の審判に至るまでの秒読みが始まったのだ。諸君らはここで何を見出すのか、何を掴み取るのか。ここはもう一つの現実である。自らの信念に基づいて、真に懐くべきことを各自な下前。真の自由意志とは行えることを必
It seems it might be best to quit the game as soon as possible and quickly return to reality. Huh? When I turn around, I see an incredibly odd man, a cowboy with a 10 gallon hat and two pistols hanging from his hips. No, your appearance has just made the situation even more confusing. Who are you? I give him as sharp of a glare as I can manage, full of those feelings. うん。稲垣だ。うわ。ここじゃハンドルで呼び合うのが習わしないで。簡単に本名バラさんといてくれ。個人情報の漏えいは犯罪ないぞ。やっぱり稲垣だ。おかしいと思ったんだ。いきな
お気に召されるなというわけで一旦ログアウトして出直してくるかなあそうねちょっと対策を立て直しましょうかいやしばしまたれい人探しならいい方法してるでえ本当なのうん空いてる確率がランダムやけど信頼できる占い師の館があるバビロンの極秘データにアクセスしているらしく的中率は抜群やで Hmm, another piece of suspicious information. But right now I'm feeling very desperate. Even if it turns out to be pointless, should we still go? Ugh, just saying that made me feel kind of uncomfortable. Even though I felt from the start that it was such an embarrassing name, I'm getting used to it. Still, I wonder, does he even understand what it means in Spanish? Uh, I'll put an explanation up on screen. Gatten Shouchinosuke! Jeez, why am I working with a guy like this again? Tashi. The city is so dark now that it wouldn't feel strange if some monster just jumped out of, no, out of nowhere in this atmosphere. Inagaki has a high level, is a high leveled hero, but can we really rely on him? Ah, ta! Koko ya, koko ya! Lem's fortune telling. At a corner in the city, words that resemble a new gateway float in midair. Now, under and not understanding the English, I use a dictionary to convert it into Japanese and get this. Sakyo then reads it aloud. Lemuzo fortune telling. Oh, Uranaya san no lemu chan te koto ne. Lemu? Yosei no lemu? Eh? 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 Masaka Hinata ma de lemu chan ni atta te yun chau yaro na. Atta. Nani o? なんでこのバビロンにお金も時間もリソースもかけてるこの僕が会えんでなんで吉田とかお前とか He's completely dropped the whole Chikitita role playing and gone back to his old Inagaki self. Well, maybe it's because we're normal? I swallow those words just in time. まあまあ、そのうち稲垣君にもいいことあるって。ああ、うん。More importantly, there's something I'm curious about. ここ人の気配ないんだけどそうだねガランとしてるみたいやっぱりか今日もレムちゃんはここにおらんそういえばお前レムちゃんに会ったことないってつまりここで占ってもらったことないってことじゃないかあ<笑>まあそういうことやええー、そうなのうんがっかりいやほらちゃんとここで占ってもらったやつは何人もおるしたまたま今は僕が一緒のせいでレムちゃんが出てこないんじゃないかな<笑> So Rem appears in this dreamy cyberspace? When? Under what conditions? Rem of all people will definitely know something about Mutsuki So I... 今度また来てみよう場所は分かったことだしあ,あそういえばそうだね Thank you, Inagaki kun. Ah, yeah, Sesha wa tozen no. Bye bye! Mate ne! Eh? Ah! Arigato, Yusha Chikichita! Kimi no koto wa, Mikka gura ya wasre nai yo! Aha. Ya, Mikka te so na. Sesha. Okay, well, um. I'm going to stop here, because it's been over two hours. Ah. Getting very interesting, isn't it? So, yeah. Until next time, bye.